Hi, so I just a couple minutes ago was talking to a Rogersville City cop. Boy, was I surprised. We'll start down with, we'll start with Dustin the kitten. The 600 SOB that did it is a heavyweight guy, heavy set guy. They got him on video. He had a knife in his hand. I told the cop, I said, I should tell me who he is and walk away. So you're not the only one who feels that way. If it's hurt a little kid and you're a freaking sick, then you know what. Then we started talking about the Summer Wells case. And that's the wow. He's one of the original ones that went out searching for three days straight, he said. He showed me how he had blisters like that big on his foot. I'm going to say that he told me, said straight up, the detectives know more than they're saying. They also all agree on the same thing. I'm, I think I might have been wrong a little bit. Well, my first, at first. According to him, at first, Don was clueless. Does Don know now? Yeah, he gave you said that. He knows Don knows now. Was Candace involved in it? In it? Like we've all said, she was. So Candace, here watching. How long are you gonna run for? Because I can give you some in, intel on that cop. I didn't get his name, but I can tell you some other things that I won't because I don't want to. Ah, hell, he used to work for this Hawkins County for quite a while. And he switched over, got better pay for Rogersville City. But he straight up said they know for a fact Candace is involved. Proving it is the problem. He did, he said, detectives know more than what they're saying. He said, they don't tell all, tell us a lot, but they do, he said, they do know more, more do know more than what they're saying. He was a very nice guy. And I originally wanted to talk to him about the kitten. I always talked about talking about some of Wells. I couldn't believe he actually opened his mouth and said, told me straight up, he said, I'll tell you right now, the detectives know more than what they're letting on. They're keeping playing it close to the vest. I told him that everybody needs to think outside the box. He agrees. Candace did move summer somewhere. He, he said she knows exactly everything that went down. I, I can't believe he was that forthcoming. Right, because he doesn't work in the county anymore. But I also got the feeling that when it comes time to arrest Candace, it's not going to be a funny sight. Well, but not for her at least. He said, the toughest part of my job is I don't deal with situations like this when it deals with a kid. I talked to some cops, they won't tell you much of anything. I wasn't expecting him to tell me anything. It really blew my mind when he did. And I talked to a cop last year when his first one down, when they were doing donations. I met her in Walmart. She said the same thing. We know who's behind it. We just can't prove it. So they're working on proving it.
So you take it from what you want, but that's exactly what he told me. Not even less than a half hour ago. We'd have still been talking, but some old man came up. Couldn't find a key. Couldn't find his uh, Ford Escape. So the cop decided to help him go look for it. And as I'm standing, I'm standing on top of my car trying to find this Ford Escape. The old man says, oh, crap. I said, what? He said, I've been driving my wife's car all day. I forgot I took my truck. So. Anyhow. Just, so they know more than the letting on guys. Run, Candace. Run, bitch. They're going to get you. Catch you on the flip-flop. Bye.